Hi guys, Dan at Viking Across X UK. Just a quick video on the Angel Fish and Clown Loach tank, really. It's a sump tank, this one. Just over two foot squared. I've only had it running properly for a few weeks. It's quite heavily planted. A lot of these fish I've had quite a while, though. But I've moved them into here, so I can appreciate some of the touches and stuff again. They're doing really well in here though. These angel fish are quite old now. And uh, the touches are as well. The touches are uh, at least two inch in size and length. Can't really tell how big they are in the on the camera there, but they're at least two inch in length. They I got them a while ago with a tank that I bought second hand. And they was in it, so I'd be interested to know what type of touch they are. I do know most types of touches, but there's still quite a few I don't know because it's not something I've been big into. But I, I really like these. They've got like yellow tips on the fins, and I have seen yellow tip touches on labels before in shops, and I've also seen lemon touches. Don't think they're them, but possibly. They've got like rainbow markings in the scales, and then yellow and black fins. If anyone knows what type of texture they are, I'd be interested to know in the comments, please. Angel fish are doing, they love it in this tank because it's a bit deeper than the one they was in. Two of them cleaning a leaf and everything, but that's to lay eggs. Oh, she is laying eggs. Let's just make her out there on the other side. They're probably eating him. Oh, it looks like he is fertilizing him. I really like this tank though, the way it's set up. There's the lima shovel nose catfish there. On the back, just on the way to the sump, hovers there. Uh, He'll be out for food though. It's growing really well. He was in the grow out tank with the smaller juveniles I've got. Uh, you know, clown loach, peacock bass, stuff like that. But he's getting quite big now. He wasn't too big for the tank, but he was getting to the size that he could have probably had some of the younger geophagus. So I had to move him in there because he's still not nearly big enough for the main tank. Yeah, she's definitely laying eggs there. Try and get it from the other angle. See if we can see the eggs. There she goes on the underside of that leaf. That's actually a different pair than what was breeding last time, so there must be a couple of pairs now in the group. The clown loaches are in here as well, quite a big group. When I moved them into it, the biggest ones are about five to six inches long now. Like pushing pushing five and a half inch anyway. There's only a few of them reach that size. The smallest are about two inch. But I bought them when they were tiny, the clown loaches. Quite a big sole. And they're very slow growers. And then we hang out at the back there and in the tunnel there's some towards the back there as well. Some of the Senegalese bushes as well in here now. Again, if I put them in the grow out tanks I'll probably eat some of the juveniles. They're not aggressive but they are carnivores. And um, in the main tank some of the catfish are getting big enough now that I was worried they'd slurp them up like noodles so there's the platinum Senegalese for sure. Beautiful fish. But yeah, I was a bit worried they was going to get eaten in the main tank. Now the catfish are really growing fast. 
so I moved him in there just for now. I think I will do a tank just to the Senegalese Bashir, so I'd like to try and breed them if possible. We've got almond leaves in here and Mapani leaves. There's those pods there, I can't remember what they're called, but those pods are. There's a few of them in there. They're really good for um, for the fish. They have antibacterial properties and they do release a little bit of tannins in the water, but really good properties for the fish. So that's why there's quite a lot of bits in this tank floating around. It's quite heavily planted and all the bits of leaf litter I've put in. There is a couple of other types of leaves, I can't remember the name too properly if I'm honest. Some of the super red bristle nose plecos there on the wood. There's a pair of them in here that have been growing out since small. There's one just there on the wood. That's a male. And my big old black ghost knife fish. He's in here now. This tunnels his home. Just about make his face out there, right at the front. I'll put some food in, that'll probably bring him out. And my younger fire eels in here as well, growing out really well. I'll put some food in. Put the bit of the fluval bug bites in first. The touches love them. Really gets the touches going. Put some of the catfish balls in for the clown watches. They love them, they do. The black ghost knife fish actually loves the catfish balls as well. There he goes. See him coming out there. He loves the catfish balls. There's one of the Three spotted head standers there as well. There's two of them in there. Lovely fish they are with the pink fins. They have like a jaw that protrudes, a bottom jaw that protrudes on the three spotted head standers. When I research them, it's because they like to in the wild feed graze on algae on the underside of branches. So I put some spider wood in there for them, so they've got some branches, there's the other one. And they, they do, they graze on the algae on the underneath of the branches. You can see them doing the headstands there, that's where they get the name from. I'm just about to see the mouth shape there, it's really unusual. It's nice though, I like them. There's a big black ghost knife fish. He's in and out of his pipe all the time and there's food about. Yeah, I can't believe them two angel fish breeding as well, right on cue for the video. I wouldn't have normally been able to time that if I wanted to. It's a bit of luck. Well, the eggs will get eaten in here because there's clown loaches, the fire reel. That lima shovel nose catfish at the back will be crafty at night, and so the, the eggs won't survive. But it's nice to see them breeding, it's always a sign of a healthy tank. Everything seems to love all the plants, and uh, for the angel fish as well, with there being a couple of pairs, if there's any bickering, they've got plenty of places to go to break line of sight. Uh, the fights don't ever seem to get nasty, which is really good.
that half black one there he's the old alpha male he's big but now there's a one of the younger males the same size as him and looking a lot fresher he seems to be the top dog now amongst the angel fish this one here it is there they go they always have a little spar and it doesn't get nasty he backs down to him now He's like the old silver back in. He's making way for the the new one coming through. Black ghost knife fish, I love it. I've had it a long time now to grow it to that size. They're quite slow growers. Not as slow growers as clown loaches so. though. Some blood dirt in for them now, they've been polishing that off good. They didn't get fed yesterday. Thank you, what's the blood burn? Normally the fire eel comes out on its blood worms on offer. It smells it out and it's straight out. One of the slightly bigger clown loaches there. Just spook them a bit there, so they'll come straight back out for their food. There they come. Oh, that's a fire reel. I knew it'd come out for a bit of blood burn. There he is. Lovely fire reel. I have got a bigger one in the main tank. But it spends most of the time away in the uh, catfish root wood. Just comes out for blood worm like this one really. There's the Lima Silver Mars catfish. He's always out for food. And then he'll be back on the way later. Beautiful fish. They don't get nearly as big as the Tiger Silver Mars catfish. But they are really lovely fish. If you like the Tiger Silver Mars catfish. But you have you haven't got a tank big enough then I would recommend the Lima Shovel Nose Catfish. They still need a big tank but not as big as a Tiger Shovel Nose Catfish. So we got some giant Ramzon snails in here as well as one of the adults is up there. I noticed when I was doing my water changes I've laid a load of eggs in here which is good because the clown loaches will destroy them. 
I've noticed that the clown loaches can't, they're not big enough to eat the giant ramzorn snails when they're adults. But the normal ramzorn snails, they, they go for them too quick to let them breed in the tank. So it's good having the giant ramzorns breeding in here. It's just extra food for the clown loaches. Make some forage a bit. The three spotted headstanders, really lovely fish. When I went in the shop, he, he only had two available at the time, so I got them both, but I definitely want a couple more because they're lovely fish. Them two are always playing together. I don't know whether they're wanting to breed or whether they're just a playful species, but they play a lot and spar a lot and dance a lot, so it'd be nice to see what would happen with a couple more. That's where the flow comes in from the sump and the way. But there is big sponge filters at the back as well. A lot of these bits floating around stay there because of all the organic matter I've got in there. But with it being a sump tank, you can fit so much media in, which is always a good thing. There's the female super red bristle nose pleco. You see the fire rail amongst the plants. Uh, lovely fish to watch. Shovel miles again. Really lovely, unusual.